because um, this is a long time coming. Yes, and uh, we made it. We're all here together. It was the summer of uh, 1976 that I incorporated my first business back in my hometown of Washington, D.C. I was working for the uh, National Restaurant Association at the time where I was in charge of the mailroom and the uh, office supplies. I had a coworker who had relocated to Washington, D.C. named Lawrence Leland Johnson. Lawrence was a good friend, and uh, he was actually from Chicago. Um, he passed away in January of this year. He was my very first business partner. He assisted me in establishing what was Crosstown Productions. If you guys have emailed with me, you see I use Crosstown, where Lawrence was very uh, instrumental in making that happen. Uh, today, would be Lawrence's 56th birthday. And so I am devoting this activity in the image of my best friend, Lawrence Johnson. <laughs> Welcome to the second annual Small and Home-Based Business Expo, which represents the Metro Atlanta Home-Based Business Chamber of Commerce. I still think that's a long sentence. I've heard that a thousand <laughs> times, and I agree with you all. Our theme today is taking care of business at home and in the community. In spite of our differences, there are two things that we each have in common. That is a need to live inside of a building that requires shelter. And we have a need for resources that are able to, uh, so that we can survive. Today you'll hear many versions of what it takes to survive and specifically what it takes uh, to win in business and in this journey that we call life. A few weeks ago I completed my third book, which is called Life Works, How to Have Balance in Your Personal, Professional, and Spiritual Life. It was called Big Dreams Come in Small Rooms. I think that both titles are relevant to today's activities. I'm sure that somewhere as you're planning your business, you're in a small room as you're encountering these big dreams that we have and that we'll be discussing today. But just what is it that motivates us to become entrepreneurs? Recently, I took a close look at the word and what I saw was entree, which means enter, pre, which means prior to. <coughs> Newer means, first of all, going before into uncharted waters and uncharted horizons with great expectation. In other words, being focused on the prize. When I first began developing the Metro Atlanta Home-Based Business Chamber of Commerce, I was living in Clayton County. I went over to the Small Business Development Center there at Clayton State University, and by the time we had completed our first year in business, I was being invited into the office of the lady sitting to my left. Ms. Terry Dennison, who is the director of the Atlanta version, Small Business Administration. Small Business Administration. And at that point, I was presented two awards that you see here. Uh, one is Small Business Champion for the state of Georgia. And of course, I was very excited about this. The other award that she presented us was regional champion uh, for a home-based business uh, activity, for work that we do with small and home-based businesses uh, throughout the region. At the same time, we were also honored with chapter of the year. And this is all before we completed our first year in business. So, you know. I took that recognition very seriously. When they called me a champion, and they had my picture hanging in the office over the Small Business Administration for an entire year, I decided that perhaps I needed to perform in a championship-like manner. I thought back to Mike Tyson and how he used to walk into the ring and sometimes take his opponent out 
by throwing just one big punch. In regards to our economy and the fact that we're losing jobs, houses, cars, I decided that I should make poverty and economic development my opponent. After the very first um, office was, after all, the very first office which presented me the title says that 90% of most businesses fail within, you know, the first five years. So there was, you know, something that we needed to address there. Uh, small business development became my mission. Um, you see, I believe in training, and for that reason today we'll be exposed and informed with much valuable information geared towards uh, positively impacting our lives, conversations. We've come together to get all that we can so that five years from now, we will not only still be in business, but we'll be in a much better position than we are presently. Because of my commitment to succeed, I can tell you that recently, I have been truly blessed. So much so that after today, I will be stepping down as the president of the Metro Atlanta Home-Based Business Chamber of Commerce and passing that baton on to my friend and colleague, Jim Foster. Uh, My assignment will take me kind of on a working vacation uh, across the state of Georgia, but particularly down to the Golden Isles of Georgia, where I will be establishing chapters uh, from Jacksonville, Brunswick, St. Simons, and Savannah, so that we can begin to, because we know that there's strength in numbers. The Home-Based Business Chamber of Commerce is actually a part, of the Metro Atlanta is actually a part of a national organization that started out of Memphis, Tennessee, Three years ago, Beverly Anderson was a CPA who worked with many small business operators and realized our disconnect from resources and information. And so she established the first chapter in the national headquarters. So if you go to homebasebusinesschamber.com, you'll see all of the chapters. At this point, we have probably 15 in major markets. Wherever you live or are from, we can establish a chapter there as well if you see the benefit right. to that. Terry is aware of this, Beverly Anderson just won 2012 Regional Champion Home-Based Business uh, of the Year. So the nation is, is aware of the opportunities and the movement that is evolving from our homes. Uh, we each come out of our home, we do what we do, and then we go back to our homes. So our homes are very, very, very important in the whole scheme of things. The reason that we often miss the mark, I can tell you, is um, in just a few minutes, and that is because, um, first I must ask a question, and that is, can you handle the truth? Can you? Yes. I mean, I look around and I see a room full of mature adults. So if I share information with you, I want you to understand that, first and foremost, I've already overcome. I know that this time tomorrow afternoon, I'll be laying on the beach chilling and that will be the beginning of a new life for me, okay? So I'm going to share some things with you. Uh, I always like to say I like to look at uh, having won the game and then rewind the tape to see how we got there. And I would ask you to perhaps consider that in your own practice. The moment I put the advertisement out about this event, there was someone who called me and said, hey, that's just what I need. I'm about to start my new business. The next thing I knew, Way back in April, they were sending me a check for their money. 